Hi Capricorn, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So, welcome to the new spread. Alright, so this is going to be a general reading for January 2021. Um, bear in mind that this is indeed a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? So how this spread is working is here are the overall energies here. You've got past, present, and future energies here. Clarifiers for all three. And then either final messages or summary from spirit. It just depends on how they're feeling. So let's get started, shall we? First up, Mayu, Soma from the Galactic Heart. And this is number 36. And it reads thus. Hold this a little closer so you can see. The Divine Mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. Expansion, your expansion of your horizons, your spiritual purpose and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. Divine potential within you is awakening at a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. This oracle is prophecy of ascension and grace. Mayu Soma from the Galactic Heart. So, current energies, I do not read reversals, so Seven of Cups, the Death card, and the Ten of Cups. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, that, that's your title. That's your title. My goodness. Okay. So we have weeded through all of the options and have found what it is we are looking for. Mm. I, I don't even feel like I need to expand on that. Like, yeah, okay. Well, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. So, you were looking for looking for that thing, looking for that thing that gives you the peace, that gives you your happiness, right? Looking for it. Searching high and low, what not? And you stop, either you stop looking. Wait, let me, let me see how this, how did, how did this, how did this come about? Oh, oh, the trash took itself out and now you're here. With the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right. So to clarify the Seven of Cups, we have the Star card, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So with the Seven of Cups, I'm thinking that you, you came across quite a few empty ones. And looking for hold on hold on oh excuse me
you put a lot of stock in what other people were saying. You put a lot of stock in, you, you put hope in what others were telling you and allowed that to determine your self-worth. Just looking at the death card, it was a burden to do it. And so you got rid of that mindset. You released you released it with the judgment, like you, you you started considering the source. And started working on and started working on what was actually gonna work for you. Not really listening to other people's, you stopped listening to other people's opinions because it, it, it got heavy. Other people's expectations on what you should be doing for you. Kind of toss that to the side in pursuit of your own long-term stability. And then the 10 of cups, good gravy. And then the 10 of cups is clarified by the three of cups the Ten of Cups again, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, yes, you cheered for your own self. Because you're your biggest fan. You decided that you were going to show people how to treat you. You are going to show people how to treat you. And you're going into that on purpose. You're going into you're going into that frame of mind on purpose. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that, that was to the point. Mm, Capricorn, yeah. All right, so the final messages from Spirit, or the summary rather, is the Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. With the Eight of Swords, you are traditionally this is the self imprisonment card, but in this deck. And in the explanation in this particular deck, I really like the mention of knowing what tools to use for the job. Yes, these, you, you have a lot of, you have eight swords in this, in this card, you have eight swords that are keeping you quote unquote in prison, but they are your swords. So if you need to, so you have the ability to turn it away from yourself and use it for your benefit. And because you are so familiar with these swords, you know which one to pull and when so that you do have this foundation on which your resources are being built so much so that you now find yourself with a little bit of a surplus that you can give to others or to donate, right? 
then with the Knight of Cups, it's it's the first feeling of ease. It's the body relaxing after so much tension and weight, Ten of Wands. From this, from this energy that you were in previously, right? It's, it's heavy, it's heavy. And it is also obstructing your view. But this is a view that you are choosing. And because you are choosing it, you can also choose. You can also choose long-term emotional fulfillment and long-term physical fulfillment. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, I think that was the shortest reading I have ever done to date. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and be good to one another. And I will see you all next time. Adios, Capricorn.